Hi, my name is Karis and I'm joined here today by Arthur so we can talk to you a little bit about the Lancaster aircraft and Drew Harrison's artwork of it. Um, Arthur, why don't you start by telling us a bit about it? Certainly, I mean, Drew Harrison's amazing artwork um, depicts a, a Lancaster on a night bombing run um, over Germany. Um, and the Lancaster, which was a heavy bomber from World War II and a true heavy bomber, um, was used predominantly by the British um, in nighttime operations over occupied um, uh, territory. Aussies uh, were involved in flying them as Australian um, wings formed in Europe and, uh, and certainly that artwork shows uh, the incredible and quite scary environments they must have been in during that time. Wow, I hear there's a bit of a, a funny larrikin about it. Yeah, I mean the sad part to Lancaster's is of course is that um, we lost about three and a half thousand Australians in uh, Bomber Command which was terrible, um, but we didn't operate Lancaster's back here in Australia but they did fly Lancaster's here as part of um, war bond drives during the Second World War. Uh, one that came out in the mid 40s was called Q for Queenie or Queenie um, and that related to the registration number and of course the pilot of that being a true Aussie larrikin decided to fly it under Sydney Harbour Bridge wow. and uh, very unauthorised but he did it it was a hell of a lot of fun I'm wow. sure. And you have a bit of a personal connection as well? I do. Um, G for George which uh, is in Drew's artwork uh, and, and was the second highest operational mission running Lancaster in the Second World War is now on display at the War Memorial as we've probably all seen it's an incredible thing to see over there. My wife's uncle actually flew G for George as part of the ferry runs when it came back to Australia so I have a personal connection with that. Wow that's amazing. Yeah. So Arthur let's take a closer look at the artwork here. Certainly. Uh, so this one is called Into in the Cauldron. Yes um, quite an amazing um, piece of artwork and the colours really depict what night operations were like for the Lancaster during the Second World War with the bombing runs it did and, and the devastation that was uh, occasioned during a wartime uh, event. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, Drew can really has captured the elements of it right here in this artwork. So um, this one here can be stretched over a frame or it can be framed. When it is stretched over, the information about the artwork will be behind uh, on the back of it there. So these ones here are limited to 100. Um, they will be signed for by Drew Harrison and individually numbered as well. Um, so the sizing of this artwork here is 600 by 450 um, and the going rate for this guy is $249 which is a pretty amazing for a product like this. Again, uh, museum quality, um, the inks and all the um, uh, materials used on this artwork uh, will last more than a lifetime. Um, and of course what we can see in the artwork so beautifully presented is the uh, registration number on the side of the aircraft, the fuselage, and the last letter being G, being G for George. <laughs> wow, it's amazing. Karis, again, another incredible representation of Drew's artwork, Into the Cauldron. Uh, this is the rag etch paper version, again, museum quality. Um, imagine having this on your wall at home and, and the colours truly do capture the events of what this is all about and that is those horrific and terrifying night runs the Lancaster did during World War II. Yeah, absolutely. So this one here is limited to 250. It's 600 by 450. Um, for the product that we have here today, it's incredibly affordable at $195 to have such a limited edition and really well done piece of artwork in your home. It's just amazing. Yeah, and the thing I love about it is that depending on where you put this in your home, you can decide how to frame it, you can decide how to present it um, to match your own decor. But importantly, anyone who sees this who knows anything about aviation memorabilia will know that you're one of the lucky few that have got one of those. So here we have Drew Harrison's uh, Into the Cauldron on a three millimetre aluminium artwork here. Um, this product, it never ceases to amaze me. The artworks come out absolutely incredible on here. Yeah, look, it's, it really is. And again, it's like a piece of... Um aviation material it's uh, you'd swear that we started going going cutting holes in Lancasters to do it I can certainly see on the reverse we've got all the information with respect to the limited edition a schematic diagram of a Lancaster and you know as has been said by so many people and um, people we work with uh, this would be amazing if it was in a collection of all the artworks but on its own it's extraordinary it takes you exactly to where this event took place absolutely so this artwork here is 350 by 262 it's limited to 250 and for such an affordable price of only 169 dollars 
So here we have the artwork um, shown in a different kind of way. So it's here on this incredible medallion. Um, this is part of the Air Force 2021 Centenary range. Um, and if we take a closer look, Arthur, why don't you tell us a little bit about the medallion itself? Certainly, I mean, this is a, a proof quality medallion. Uh, let's just start there. People who collect these often pay hundreds of dollars for these sort of items. Um, the quality is second to none. It's a silver plated um, brass alloy medallion um, and certainly the size 50 mil and the way the artwork is painted on it its quality is just extraordinary and I, I can see collectors all around the country um, fighting to get their hands on these. Absolutely so these guys here are limited to 500 units and all that amazing description you've given it only $45 it's just amazing. Yeah um, and look iconic range medallions iconic aircraft oh, you can't say iconic enough and collectible you can't say enough. Absolutely. Karis, uh, Drew's artwork has been transformed also onto uh, drink coolers and coffee cups. Um, this is quite insane because when you consider $10 for a high quality limited edition uh, drink cooler, I don't know how we're going to be able to keep yeah. stock of these, <laughs> frankly. Um, what about the cup? Uh, so the mug here is $15. Um, they're both limited to 1000 It's actually tr truly incredible. The information about the artist and the limited edition nature is uh, on the inside and even on the bottom here of the mug as well that you'll see. Um, the artwork has just come across amazingly on a product like this. Um, having such a beautiful artwork in just everyday life on things like coffee mugs and drink coolers, it's just absolutely amazing. And especially because they're limited edition in everyday life, people are going to know you're one of the lucky few that got their hands Absolutely. on one. Absolutely.